served elegantly on a silver tray. The more disgusting, the better. You open the valve at the bottom and uh, suck it out. And just, uh, or squeeze it out like a bad cold. <laughs> Kids love it. It's incredible. As a general rule, when you do a story on food, you're supposed to take a taste of it and go, mmm, that's good. Well, mmm, let's not. <laughs> Fortunately, if your kids' tastes run more to the creative than the disgusting, there's something new for them, too. Tom and Ann Coleman and Bill and Ann Schlotter all work for the Postal Service in Virginia. They're also co-inventors of the Laser Pop, battery-powered glow-in-the-dark candy. Kids love it. They sell out just as fast as they can get them just about everywhere. Then came bright idea number two. You can eat it and play with it at the same time. Basically, you can play with your candy. Their battery-powered spin pop is selling even better than the laser pop. After six years of working nights and weekends, they're not rich yet, but they're beginning to see financial independence at the end of their candy rainbow. I want to buy a sailboat, and I'd like to sail around the world. Which just goes to show that ideas are like ingredients. If you find the right mix that appeals to kids, it can be the perfect recipe for making your sweetest dreams come true. In Washington, Chip Reed, Fox News. I can feel the cavities. <laughs> Well, they've got something for that, too, probably. <laughs> Up next on the 10 o'clock news, the week finishes on a spectacular note. Weather-wise, Sue Falco tells us if there's more to come. And I'm Gus Johnson, coming up later on in sports. Day six of Redskins training camp, and the team is getting ready to go hard tomorrow with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And in baseball, the Orioles have taken on Minnesota, looking to regain the top spot in the American League East. We'll also have highlights from day two of the Women's U.S. Open, all coming up on the 10 o'clock news. Toyota trucks, the hottest thing on and off the road. It's Toyota's July's Jump and Sales event. Make a cool deal on a Toyota 4x4, the best-selling 4x4 compact pickup for 13 consecutive years. And save on extra value option packages. There's factory-to-dealer incentives on a great selection of affordable trucks, even on the big Toyota T100. Rank best full-size pickup and initial quality by J.T. Power & Associates. See your Toyota dealer now. Toyota's hot. Hot trucks, hot deals. If you have trouble in your shower, call Warner at 1-800-4-HOT-WATER. So you've had a rough day, but you still have a family to feed. Well, bring them the Sizzler, where kids eat for just 99 cents. With Sizzler's new Just for Kids bar, your kids can get just what they want. It's just their size, it's just filled with things they love. And for 99 cents Monday through Thursday, it's just the right price. This Saturday only, starting at 8 a.m., it's Woody's Sensational Super Saturday Sale. One day of spectacular store-wide savings. The Super Saturday Sale, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. this Saturday only, only at Woody's. A few months ago, Mary and I realized the life insurance plans we had wouldn't really cover all of our needs. When we heard about Globe's $10,000 long life policy, we knew it was the best value for our money. And right now, you can start a $10,000 long life policy for just $1. $1 pays the premium for the first month. Call now to receive complete information and applications for Globe's $10,000 long life policy by return mail. Call Globe now. Jiffy Lube has serviced over 68 million vehicles. They've redefined the word experience. Jiffy Lube. The marvelous design of the Pontiac Bonneville is stunning. It's smooth, it's quiet, it's got all the performance, all the amenities you'd expect from a more expensive luxury sedan. It's a fine automobile. I locked my keys in the car. 15 minutes later, they were there, absolutely no charge. Now take advantage of Bonneville's special 3.9% financing and save up to $23.54 in extra interest at Nix, Coon, Star, Oscar Tate, Prince Frederick, or Jim Harris. It's the best buy out there. All right, now it's time for weather, and we have been so lucky, it's thanks to Sue Palka. Yes. yes. It almost makes up for the early part of this month, doesn't it, Cynthia and Morris? It certainly a fantastic does. Fantastic week. Well, what do you think the high temperature was today? It felt pretty good out there, didn't it? 
I would say it was probably low 80s towards the end of the day, maybe about I'd, I'd high go with 80. that. Mm -hmm. well, guess what? It was 90 today. Now, is that not the best 90 has felt? And that's the difference the no, humidity no. makes. Last night's temperatures were in the 50s. We had a high of 90, but it was nearly painless today. Tonight, though, the thunderstorms have been popping up down to our south. They've had very strong wind gusts down there and a couple of inches of rain falling. And you know the sad scenario that continues out in the Midwest. Today, sections of Missouri had another two inches of rain just in the last six hours. And now all of those storms are moving into Illinois and Indiana. Some of these clouds, by the way, are going to be in our neck of the woods by tomorrow morning. So don't be surprised if some clouds greet you in the morning. We've had devastating flooding in this country, but there's another country where the flooding is even worse. It's India. Where do you see these pictures? We've talked about the loss of life in Missouri and also right along the Mississippi Valley. Well, the devastating monsoon floods in India, Nepal, and Bangladesh have left 6.6 .6 million people in emergency camps, especially in Punjab. They've got 1,100 people dead. And as you can see, the devastation is just unbelievable there. They've lost all their crops. I don't know how they're going to uh, recover from this. Punjab was cut off from the rest of the country for four days. They had 39 inches of rain in some parts of the country this week alone. That's more than they've had in the Midwest uh, during the entire flooding event that we have seen. Tonight, again, a few storms popping up down to the south. The bigger story are the storms that moved through Missouri and Illinois. And again, that patch of clouds will move our way. And watch down to the south because some of those storms have tried to move south during the night. And we may see a few thunderstorms in our southern suburbs late tomorrow and on Sunday. That's just a chance. Right now, we really could use some rain. And most of those chances of rain have been drying up as the summer's gone on. Well, here's a look at the forecast map for tomorrow. We have been really benefiting from a lovely area of high pressure that's been centered right over Washington uh, for the last half of this week. The center of that high is going to move offshore tomorrow, and when that happens, warm air starts moving back toward Washington, so it's not going to be quite as comfortable tomorrow. You'll notice a little bit more in the way of humidity, a little bit more in the way of cloud cover, and there is a chance that late Saturday and Sunday we'll have a least the chance for a shower, perhaps a thunderstorm, especially south of Washington. As for the beaches, it looks like a good weekend there. Temperatures will be in the 80s, but again, even a chance for a thunderstorm at the beaches late in the day, especially from the Virginia beaches on down to North Carolina. Better chance on Sunday from about Ocean City south. Tomorrow's temperatures here, about 88 to 89 degrees. Tonight's forecast, it's going to be uh, partly cloudy and cool. Light, overnight lows could get down to 58 degrees, maybe 66 in the city. Another comfortable night. And just when you think, hey, can I shut off the air conditioning? I wouldn't do it. I think it's going to be heating up again, and we'll have the humidity coming back a little bit more. Tomorrow, sunshine through high clouds, 87 to 91. But by tomorrow night, noticeably more humid. will become cloudy. A late shower is possible, especially south of Washington, 66 to 70. Here goes the five-day forecast. 90 with a chance of a shower, perhaps a storm on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, wow, it's starting to look like the early part of July again with temperatures in the mid-90s. Have a warm weekend. Cynthia Morris, back to you. Great. Thanks, Sue. All systems are go for tomorrow's rescheduled launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. Launch controllers say Discovery is in good shape for takeoff tomorrow morning, a week later than planned. NASA officials say the launch pad problem that scrubbed last weekend's attempt has been fixed. During more than a week in orbit, the five-member crew plans to deploy two satellites and perform two spacewalks. A popular Smithsonian exhibit is spreading its wings. Ten years after it was first proposed, the Senate finally approved a plan to build the National Air and Space Annex at Dulles Airport. The annex will allow the museum to display the Space Shuttle Enterprise. Supporters, including Senator Charles Robb, says the annex will boost tourism in northern Virginia and give the Smithsonian more room to display its impressive aviation collection. Much more ahead on the 10 o'clock news. A heart-wrenching choice. An Illinois couple must decide whether to separate their Siamese twins but one child will die. Poolside heroes when a graduation ceremony turns into a life and death drama. And another top seed falls at the Newsweek Tennis Classic. Tonight's weather report brought to you by your Washington area Cadillac dealers. It's here, just around the corner at your Washington area Cadillac dealer. Big savings on the most popular luxury car in America. A $3,000 cash bonus on the 1993 Sedan DeVille. A $3,000 cash bonus right now, only at your Washington area Cadillac dealer. Cadillac, changing the way you think of an American automobile. Macy's pre 
season sale. Save on the best for fall. $98 silk blazer, now $59.90. Luxurious $180 cashmere sweater, now $109.90. $59 cotton silk sweater, now $39.90. $59 silk poet blouse, also $39.90. Macy's preseason sale. The best for fall at our biggest sale of the year. Hurry.